Craig, the mayor was worried a bayou near Dardanelle would end up flooding dozens of homes last week, but the water stalled near the edge of town. So hopefully right now as we're talking, is starting to drop. Homes and businesses in Dardanelle are still packed with sandbags. Dozens of people helped fill them last week to help prepare for what could have been devastating flooding. We prepared for the worst all the way through, told everybody we're going to prepare the right way. Flood water stalled about 300 yards from the edge of town on Highway 247. Mayor Jimmy Witt says it's a miracle it didn't make its way into Dardanelle. The water level at the breach in the levee has equalized. It's not running into the bottoms as hard. But that water flooded farms and homes in Yell County when the levee breached last week near Hall Event. They've been the ones that have been hit the hardest. They're taking supplies in by boat. Uh, medical needs are, are done by boat. Mayor Witt says damage has been reported on the riverbank north of town. I'm not sure how many homes yet, but I know one I went and looked at last night. Uh, where it's taken brick and foundation blocks and all. He says this flood event is a learning lesson for everyone. We're going to we're going to do a better job moving forward of being better prepared in the future for what what may happen with this river. But Mayor Wood says it was amazing to see Dardanelle come together to help each other out. This entire town has turned out and worked hard and prepared and not just inside the city but all around this whole area. And so we're I'm very proud of them. And, and I know that we're going to be stronger because of this. Now, Mayor Witt wants to tell homeowners to keep the sandbags outside your homes until Friday when the potential rain passes.